Wir sind gerade in Mazedonien und wir zeigen euch, wie medizinische Cannabis-Extrakte in höchster Qualität hergestellt werden. Kommt mit! Nordmazedonien liegt im Herzen des Balkans. Zwei Millionen Menschen leben hier. Seit 2016 ist medizinisches Cannabis hier legal. Das Land wollte früh eine pharmazeutische Industrie aufbauen. Kontrolliert, GMP-zertifiziert und international ausgerichtet. Heute fließen hunderte Millionen Euro in den Sektor. Mazedonien exportiert Cannabis-Extrakte nach Deutschland, Israel, Australien und andere Länder und wird in dem Bereich als Hidden Champion Europas gehandelt. Wir lassen uns heute von den Experten vor Ort zeigen, wie die Herstellung von Extrakten abläuft. Bevor wir das Labor betreten dürfen, müssen wir GMP-konforme Schutzkleidung anlegen, um jegliche Kontamination zu vermeiden. The mother plants we keep here for uh, six months. From the mother plants we getting the clone. With the process of cloning are uh, 14 days. After that we transplant the clones to gardening. There we keep the plants for seven days and after that they are going in uh, vegetation. In vegetation the plants stay uh, from 11 to 15 days, depends to the, to the strain. After that process we are going to flowering to the final stage and uh, here the plants stay for, from 44 to 46 days. After the finish of the flowering stage we, we harvest the plants and uh, going to the precondition room. Uh, there we keep the plants for uh, five days and then I go transfer to the, to the production. Okay, we will go now in the clean rooms. Here we have secondary changing rooms. Once in cultivation, the preconditioning of the biomass is finished, we receive through this pass box. And we are starting with our first process here. It's measurement of the wet mass that we are receiving from the cultivation. Mm -hmm. The next step in our production process is drying process. Yes, this is our drying room. It's a separate room and it's a separate uh, ventilation unit. Uh, so the drying of the process is done here. And it's validated process, in no matter that the flowers are used for extraction or as used as finished product, uh, they go through the, the same process. It lasts uh, five days or six days, and when the moisture content is less than 10%, we are saying that the flowers are dried and we can collect them and go to the next uh, phase of hand trimming or that can be used for extraction purposes. After the drying process is finished and we collect the dry mass, mm -hmm. the next step that we are uh, doing is the hand trimming of the flowers. During this process, we are obtaining dry flowers, which is main product, and uh, we are producing two byproducts. It's trim and it's kif. Mm -hmm. uh, the trim can be used for extraction. Uh, the lasting of the hand trimming process depends on the uh, strain that we are trimming because uh, different strains are with different uh, quantity of leaves. This uh, depends on the strains. This is the extraction room. Inside that room we have the CO2 extract extraction machine and the dump of wood. For production of crude extract, uh, the first step is weighing of the starting material and then it's grinding. So we use the uh, milling machine which is inside the downfall boot. So with the grinding, we are reducing the particle size of the uh, material uh, in order to have a more efficient extraction and to have a better yield and efficiency, but also uh, to put more material inside of the canisters because of the bulk density as well. Decarboxylation is a chemical uh, process, chemical reaction, where the acidic form of uh, the cannabinoid, THCA or CBDA, for example, transforms into THC and CBD, and uh, CO2 is released in the, uh, in the atmosphere. Uh, so we use decarboxylation uh, before extraction. We can either do uh, decarboxylation after extraction, but our process is validated in a way where we do first grinding, decarboxylation, and then extraction. Each component, inside of the material has a set point for temperature, pressure, uh, and flow, for example, which it extracts. 
And then when we set the specific parameters, we can extract the specific components inside of the material. So the CO2, the supercritical CO2 enters from below. It goes inside of the material. So we have uh, this extraction vessel and we have uh, an extraction canister inside. So supercritical CO2 enters, penetrates through the material, the grinded material. It dissolves the, the material. So it acts like a solvent, for example. And uh, so the CO2 together with the components goes through separators. So we have two gravimetrics and two cyclonic separators. We have specific parameters inside of the uh, gravimetric separator. And the whole material is collected here as a full spectrum. So together with cannabinoids, terpenes, waxes, everything is collected here. So inside, we reach uh, almost 96 to 98% efficiency. It means how much THC is in the biomass, in the starting material, and how much we can extract from it. We did a lot of tests with the flow, uh, the CO2 flow, the temperature, and pressure in order to have a more efficient extraction for a shorter period of time and to have a better yield as well. So as I mentioned, our efficiency is 96 to 98%, and we obtain approximately 22 23% yield. In the previous phase, uh, then explained to you the production of crude extract. In this kind of product, uh, we are having uh, THC content around uh, 60 to 65 per percentage of THC. But this product is not uh, purified. Uh, still in this product, we are having lipids and vasex. With the next steps of production, we are doing the purification of the crude extract and we are obtaining the refined extract. In the refined extract, at the end, we are having around 70 to 75 percentage of uh, THC. To obtain refined extract, we have three phases. The first phase is uh, mixing, homogenization of the crude extract with the ethanol. After that, we are having uh, uh, cooling on the very low temperature, minus, uh, minus 35 percentage, where the precipitation and the filtration of the vasex and the lipids are done. After that, we have evaporation to remove the ethanol from the refined extract and in the end to obtain purified refined extract, which we are using for starting material of production standardized extract. So inside of the stainless steel canisters, uh, first we put initially 80% of the total ethanol, which is calculated. Then we put the crude extract after which we measure the gross weight and the empty uh, bottle, the tire weight of the bottle, to see how much we actually crude extract we put inside of the canisters. And then we calculate how much remaining ethanol we must put inside of the canister in order to reach the 110 ratio. Uh, so what he did earlier is he added ethanol first, then he added the crude extract, after which he added the uh, leftover of the ethanol in order to reach the ratio 110. After mixing the crude extract uh, with ethanol, uh, we are obtaining ethanolic solution of the refined extract. And after the filtration of the precipitation of the lipids and the vasex, this is the equipment that we are using for removing the ethanol from the ethanolic solution produced from the previous phase. That's all. <laughs> this is the whip film molecular distillation unit. Uh, we have two-step distillation. Uh, the f in the first step, we remove all the light components, and on the second step, we remove the heavy tar components. In order to obtain distillate, which is more pure in form, approximately 85% THC. So uh, we are loading refined extract inside of the filling flask. We have a evaporator and we have a condenser. So after the two-step distillation unit, we obtain a bright yellow, very clear, more pure, concentrated extract. Uh, on this room and on this equipment, we are doing the preparation of standardized extract. Here, as starting material, we are using the refined extract from uh, strain M-RANS. Once we finish with the production of standardized extract, 
Uh, we have also here defined temperature, defined uh, mixing speed, for example. Um, after that, quality control are taking samples from the bulk product and uh, they are doing the analysis of the bulk solution. When they release the product after obtaining the analysis, analysis we are starting with uh, uh, filling the product in the bottles. Was wir gesehen haben, ist pharmazeutische Präzision in jedem Schritt. Nordmazedonien spielt längst vorne mit, als Produktionsstandort für medizinisches Cannabis auf höchstem Niveau. Guten Morgen aus Mazedonien. Ich hoffe, die Reise hat euch gefallen. Wir werden noch viele, viele weitere unternehmen. Damit ihr dabei seid, dann gerne abonnieren und liken natürlich. Also bis bald. Ciao, ciao.